first you want to go to the section that is liquefying up on the top then you have the tool on the top left that allows you to move pixels in the one below it allows you to reconstruct the pixels that you accidentally moved in too far and uh, let me just scroll over this the one I'm clicking on right now the top one allows you, this one right here allows you to freeze the area for a certain amount of time so that you don't move pixels in too far so it go only goes t up to the red area and not past it this one allows you to erase the area that you drawn when you're actually moving the pixels in you're gonna wanna choose the top left tool and you're gonna wanna start molding it to the area that you use to put the red in Don't go too far past the picture, else it'll don't go off the edge. It just makes the picture a lot worse. So then, after you're done with that, you want to erase all the red area that you've done and move to the next part. I'm starting on the right side now, or our right side. If you need to make the brush smaller for tighter areas, it's up on the area I was just clicking. I'll show you that again in a moment. This area right up here, you can choose your brush size. But for now, I'm just going to mold the pink shirt to the person. gonna add a little bit more freezing so I can keep going otherwise it will look totally photoshopped towards the end of this video I'll show you the difference between what happened from the first to the last beginning to end I'm just going to touch up the left side a little bit, make it a little bit more thin. Oh, too much there. Like I said, you can choose brush sizes. So you can go as big as 600 all the way to 1, which is small enough that you can't even see. I like to keep mine about 30s to 50s. And also change the density, how hard it is to move the pixels in. And this is the difference. As you can see, on the left side of her hip, you can see that there is a lot less room compared to a lot more room you can definitely see a difference between that and that's it